Green began our group back in the mid 1970s. So, you know, we're, we're certainly one of the oldest research groups in the world in this particular field, which is a very new field. We were struggling for uh, equipment in the early days, so um, um, the uh, professor who was head of our department, Professor Lou Davies, um, helped us get some second-hand gear from AWA Microelectronics, where he had a, a part-time job, part-time with the university and part-time with them. So that's what really got us started, some of that old equipment that he was able to uh, line up. But people would visit us from overseas in those days to see what we were doing and they would feel really sorry for us. The early 1980s was really exciting. Um, in 1983 we got our first world record so we made the, the cell that was independently measured and certified as the highest that had ever been made. From 1983 we concentrated on becoming the first to get a 20% efficient cell. Last year we recorded the first 25% efficient silicon solar cell which is well ahead of what any of our competitors have ever been doing. We managed to beat the Americans and all the Europeans. Once you get to the top and, and people recognise, I guess, the world leading research done here, suddenly you find that a lot of the world's best researchers from around the world want to come and join us. In addition to that, we're also attracting the very best students, I suppose for the same sort of reason. You know, there's a lot of students out there that are, are very enthusiastic about wanting to develop technology that can make such a difference in the world. They want to be part of that. And so we attract very, very high performing students into our program. And I think as a result of that, the, the students when they finish are, are probably the best in the world that this industry has available. We tend to get you know, people a little bit um, out of the ordinary, I think, um, wanting to work with us. So we've had a number of very talented people working with us over the years. And, you know, if you look at the photovoltaic industry now, you'll find former members of our lab popping up everywhere in key positions. And we've actually started putting together some of the statistics on this, and we have more than 40 of our former students now in senior management positions in photovoltaic companies all around the world. And by senior management, I mean positions like um, CEO of the company or CTO of the company, chief technical officer, that type of level. I think the view from the top now is a very exciting one. Um, because what we've been able to do is not just achieve world records in the laboratory, but we've had a, a great opportunity to work with a lot of companies and get our technology out into the marketplace. So we've got uh, licensees of our technology now in a, a lot of countries around the world. Well, SunTech's uh, now the largest silicon manufacturer, but um, it only started in 2001, so it's happened you know, in very few years. It went from being a very small, struggling company to this massive billion-dollar operation. Um, but because we have very strong links with the personnel there, um, we've had very strong interaction with the company and have been able to benefit from their success, both in terms of the funding they've provided for us and the partnerships in applying for grant and other financial support and so on has been very valuable. But um, because the company was founded by technologists, they're a lot more confident about adopting new technology than you know, had, had been our experience in the past in trying to get solar cell companies interested in improving their, their product and um, much more willing to um, uh, experiment with new technologies in pilot production and then introduce into production if they're showing that they can improve the economics of the cell manufacture. If you look at ways of sustainably supplying the world's energy, there's not too many options out there. You know, those that have looked at it closely have come to the view quite often that photovoltaics is the best option that has yet been suggested. So you only have to cover a small fraction of the Earth's surface with photovoltaic panels to supply all our primary energy. So a huge resource, it's just a matter of tapping into it efficiently and cheaply, which is um, you know, where we've been strong in the past. The excitement I feel at the moment um, is enormous. Um, there's a technology we've been working on for ooh, close to 10 years in our laboratory now and we're getting very good results, but it's just going into large-scale manufacturing now. That to me, I think, is probably creating for me the greatest excitement that I've felt in many years of working within this field. And if I feel more excited than this in, in years to come, well, that's going to blow me away. <laughs> Woo! Yeah!